Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're gonna to be doing another pick a card for you guys. We're gonna be doing about your future self. So basically I'm going to do a shot of the cards now so you can see each of the piles. We have group number one with the blue lace agate, group number two with the amethyst, group three with the citrine, and group number four with the clear quartz. Okay, so let's get started. Starting off with group number one about what your future self wants you to know. So starting off with group number one, let's go. So today we have the blue lace agate for group number one, which is find your calm. And I really hope you guys can see the pictures. So we have blue lace agate, find your calm. And then the second card we have is rose quartz, open up your heart. So both of these cards are really, really to do with your heart chakra and your throat chakra. So what your higher self wants you to know is you will find calm within opening your heart, okay? So even though you may feel scared about opening your heart, it might be quite a big deal for you guys. It might not be. Obviously, this is a general reading, so you just take it as it resonates. But I do feel like you guys need to learn to open up for your vocal cords more. And this can come in the form of singing. This can come in the form of speaking your truth. But I feel like it's really important for you to know that it's okay to open your heart and know that it's safe and everything's fine and i'm sorry if you can hear background noise there's a busy road behind me and it's very loud <laughs> so um so yeah i feel like for you guys it's really important for you to know that everything's going to be okay and even if you do open your heart to somebody it's not going to get stomped on every single time and who's to know it won't get stomped on you know so i feel like for you guys this is a very strong love message actually so if you guys are single this is a very strong message for you guys if not that's totally fine same for you guys if you're in a relationship as well even if you're not looking opening your heart doesn't actually have to mean about a relationship it can mean in meditation it can mean if you want to get more intuitive messages that means opening your heart as well so it can mean in various different ways so I feel like with the blue lace agate, it is definitely about the throat chakra and it's about you opening your throat chakra more so you can really express yourself and who you are and you can really kind of get your voice out there. And for me, blue lace agate really helped me with coughing in the videos. So when I first started my channel, I don't know if you guys probably know, I tried to edit out like most of my coughing, but I used to cough quite a lot in my videos and for some reason there was something like going on with my throat chakra. It was like, Vicky, no, <laughs> no, this is not gonna work. So basically I worked on my throat chakra. I wore blue lace agate. It's really, really good. So if you guys wanna check out any of my custom crystal jewelry on my website, then you're welcome to. I have my crystal shop down below. It's really good because I intuitively choose the crystals for you. And if you do need blue lace agate, then we can do that for you. So, selfless promo, but we've got to get it in there, you know what I'm saying? It helped me a lot. I wore blue lace agate and it was really, really helpful. So, the next one we have is Sagittarius. So, this is the Voyager. So this is telling me that you guys want to travel more. You guys will most likely want to come into a place where you can travel. You're probably thinking about travel quite a lot as well. And I feel like for you guys, you just are very enthusiastic. You're people who love to just kind of do things spontaneously. And that's probably been really hard for you recently because things aren't really spontaneous. They're very much kind of like, okay, get up, you know, go to work or do work, things like that. It's probably been really, really hard for you to actually be that kind of more open and it will change, you know, things will get better. But for now, it's really important for you to just focus on what it is that you want to work on. So it might be a new work endeavor. It might be something to do with a book. It might be something to do with a blog. I feel like for you guys, it's definitely to do with the mind. And I don't always see Sagittarius as made to do with the mind, but they are very much to do with the mind. They're very much people who you can see things from a far away perspective and it's not kind of getting too much into the emotions. It's very much getting into a space where you can really see things from afar and you're not getting too affected by it. And I definitely feel like your Mercury is really coming into this. So you may have Sagittarius Mercury as well, but it's definitely a strong element of flowering and blooming. I mean, there's a flower on this card as well. So it's really connecting to that energy as well. And I feel like for you guys, it's just you're opening up your yourself more as well. So things are opening up more for you and you, be, you can become much more open like that. So I'm also gonna pull, we have some tarot here as well, but I'm gonna also pull some more tarot because I wanna get really in depth with this reading. So we then have the Empress. So it's definitely an element of opening your heart, but I feel like for you guys, if you feel like your heart chakra is already pretty open, you're like, that ain't a problem for me, I'm good then I feel like for you guys, you're really just embracing who you are and you're learning new things about yourself. So you may be learning new skills, you may be learning new parts of you um, and there may be more things that you kind of learn about yourself that are kind of flourishing and you're like, oh my God, I didn't know I was so good at this. 
And I feel like for you guys, you're starting to get more kind of open about your... You're kind of coming into more of a space where you're opening more around nature. So if you guys, you might not have been really nature enthusiast, but now I feel like you're more connecting with nature because with the lockdown and everything, it's kind of forced us to, to go into a space where we go more towards what's natural versus what is artificial. And more artificial things can be like restaurants and things like that. And obviously that's not too artificial, but it's kind of caused us to go inward and also to be in nature more because nature's never not going to be there, you know, unless we destroy everything. But we're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> Positive vibes here. So going out in nature is really, really good for you guys. And I feel like you guys are reconnecting with the water. So you guys might actually be traveling near water or you might be moving house near water as well, which is going to be really good for your your it's going to be really good for your vibe, essentially just your energy. And it's going to create negative ions as well. The water gives off negative ions. And you think negative ions don't sound very good, but they are very, very good. They really give you a more positive energy and they kind of clear out a lot of the negative clutter that you don't really need anymore. So we then have the box. So for you guys, you may have felt like you've been in a box. Things have been feeling really, really stressful recently. And as you can see with the box, it's got this really beautiful, um, really beautiful color around the edge as well. So this is you thinking that you, have, you haven't got a choice and you can't mix things up. This quarantine and everything is really teaching us to mix things up and do things in a different way, especially with where I'm, when I'm recording this is Leo season. And Leo season is very bold. It's very extroverted. It's coming into a place where getting noticed. So a lot of you guys are probably wanting to get noticed more or you might actually get noticed without even really realizing. Your followers might kind of go up or you might kind of be more confident with just being yourself and being more open and you might wear things you don't normally wear, you might kind of show a bit more skin than normal, then that's probably out of your comfort zone but actually it's a very revelational kind of option for you and it may feel really really comfortable as well. So we also have the light in the middle of the box and I feel like there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel with this situation that you're in. I feel like there's definitely you may feel kind of closed in and feel like you don't have options and you don't feel like you can kind of open up and be who you really are, but that's really shifting for you. And I feel like there's definitely no more straining and no more kind of pushing yourself into one place. I feel like it's, even if it's just changing up your clothing or changing up, maybe you guys are getting a tattoo I'm sensing as well. But I feel like some of you guys are just changing things up as well and just doing things a little bit differently just so you can get that difference. And I think for some of you guys, you may be coming out of a box where you kind of defined yourself in a certain way and now you're redefining yourself in different ways. Some of you guys that can be your sexuality as well. You might have a different sexual preference than what you used to have before. And I feel like because you're, I feel like the best thing for you to do is be your most authentic self and kind of do things that might be a little bit different, but actually will cause like a really big difference overall. It might be just like tiny things, but actually it will cause like a really big difference kind of overall. And I feel like creative wise, I think getting creative is really, really good for you. And even if it's just changing up your home environment slightly, I think that'll be really, really good for you as well. I feel like for some of you guys, you might be getting a dog. Uh, there was something else I wanted to say, but that's kind of gone out of my head. So I don't know if that's gonna come back if it does. I will let you know. Let's get some more tarot and see what else wants to come through. Okay, so we have the Hermit and we have the Four of Wands, which is lovely. And let's get a couple more. Okay, we also have the Five of Swords. And we also have Queen of Pentacles, be beautiful. So definitely for a lot of you guys, you are really changing up your work environment. And that is definitely, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I feel like for some of you guys, are gonna, you're going to change your environment with work. I feel like work is going to feel much more different for you. I feel like some of you guys, the box was work. And now you're thinking, I don't want to work for anyone. I want to work for myself or I want to work for a different company. Or I want to just do something completely crazy and, you know, do something that I've never done before. And it can be like a completely different course or something like that. But it feels very healthy. It feels like I'm ready for this. And there's definitely an element of travel here. I mean, we have the two of ones like right underneath. So this is definitely about travel and kind of coming into a much more comfortable place where you're able to just see things from a strong, like a broader perspective. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are seeing travel in a different way. I feel like you are planning things, but not really expecting to go anywhere. I feel like just planning things would be really good for you guys. 
and also getting a mood board. I thought that'd be really helpful. So we first have the Hermit and we have the Four of Wands. So this is you guys really learning to express what's inside of you and you've probably gone through quite a big Hermit mode where you've, you've kind of held stuff in a lot of the time and not been able to really be who you are. Now you're starting to just express yourself without any apologies and you're wanting to kind of connect to music and things like that. And I feel like definitely you guys, you're probably changing up your body as well in some way. You might be um, changing up your what you eat, what you're wearing. And then because you're changing up what you eat, you're then changing up what you're wearing because of possibly losing weight, gaining weight, you know, whatever suits you, whatever your preference is. Um, I feel like music is just really good for you. And you might be thinking, I want to go to a festival. Um, you might actually just create a festival at home. Um, you might kind of go to like a, something in the park or something where you can still be with your friends, but obviously not too close together. You know, whatever we're allowed to do at the time. Um, also, we have the Five of Swords of the Queen of Pentacles. So it might be quite a big strain for you to actually come into more of a comfortable place of work, but actually you start to become much more at ease with it. You then become much more comfortable with the thought of changing work. You might not want to do it at first. You might be like, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to change because it's too it's too difficult. And it's sometimes it's really scary to change. But actually, once you get over that like hump, it's like totally fine. And there's not nothing really to worry about here. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this setup, let me know. I want to do more of showing my face. Um, but I really hope you guys liked it. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your support. Also, if you want to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below in the description box. Same for my crystal shop as well. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what the urgent message that you need to know from your higher self. So we have Amethyst, trust your intuition, which is absolutely beautiful. And then we also have Apophyllite, stay positive. So this is really, really beautiful. So both of these are basically urging you to kind of trust in the universe and trust that things are gonna work out. You might have had some setbacks in terms of health or well-being. I'm sensing like an energy around your throat and then around the head. So you may have been getting like some headaches or some throat energy or may have just been feeling really unhappy or you might have just got a cold and it kind of has caused you to kind of rethink what you need to do in your life. You may have had like a time of rest and it's kind of caused you to step back from your life and step back from that rush and kind of think, oh, actually, this is something that I want to change. So the Amethyst and the Apophyllite are actually very similar. If you can see that, they're very, very similar with the way they look. So I feel like for you guys, the trusting your intuition and staying positive, it's like both come hand in hand. So trusting yourself is trusting your intuition. So if you don't trust the messages that come to you, how can you expect to trust yourself further? And also, if, if you don't trust yourself, then changes can't happen for you. So it's when we want change, we have to initiate change in some way. So I feel like for you guys, that's going to come in the element of trusting your intuition and staying positive around that and also staying positive around yourself. There may be something else that's kind of set you back or kind of cause you to be like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. That's OK. Things are going to fluctuate. And if you don't know where you're going right now, then that's OK. The universe is saying, like, we got you. Like, you can you can trust what's going on, even if it feels kind of confusing and up and down and just bleh, just bleh. <laughs> All right. So the next card we have is Golden Healer Quartz. Open the door. So this is saying that there's probably some sort of element you could include within your life that opens some sort of opportunity. So with trust your intuition, there may be a leap of faith that you want to do that you're like, I don't know if it's going to work out. Just try it. <laughs> like if it's something small, then go for it. You know, what's the worst that could happen? And also I'm hearing speak your truth. If there's somebody in your life who is not treating you well, speak your truth around this person because that's going to open the door for new opportunities to come in. And also with this open the door, I feel like there's definitely new opportunities that are going to come towards you, especially in career and money and finances, I feel. I'm feeling something tangible, like I can hold it in my hands. And it feels like money, it feels quite heavy. So it could be something like that you've bought that's quite heavy. It feels like a fish tank, which is so random. But I feel like some, some of you guys might be buying some fish. So we then have Mercury communication. So I did say about speaking your truth around somebody who is not kind of helping you or not really giving you the best positive vibe. It's definitely about speaking your truth and with open the door, it's actually opening the door around your throat chakra as well. So there could be some sort of element around your throat chakra that's caused some kind of friction. 
and most likely the situation here is around from childhood and this can be something that we carry on from our childhood and it's basically saying that you can't speak your truth and or if you do speak your truth like no one will understand you or listen to you essentially and that's not true this is something that you're really unraveling right now and it's really giving yourself permission to, to, to ask people what it is that you need. And for some of you guys, you may have a stutter or something to do with like a lisp or something, because I do feel like I'm stumbling on my words. So if any of you guys do have some sort of language, like situation going on, then I feel like this message is definitely for you. But also if you guys are learning a different language, I feel like that's definitely what you're, what you're gonna start doing as well. We then have the Seven of Cups and we have Genosis. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly, just, take it as it resonates so this is definitely you having some sort of epiphany and some sort of massive shift so you're most likely going to feel a lot different probably in the next five months if something is kind of stuck and nothing is really shifting i probably will say about in about five months things will start shifting for you and i feel like this can be to do with moving home as well so if you're thinking about moving house this is this is going to be for you as well obviously just take it as it resonates um, but I feel like you're definitely coming into a more empowered place and you're coming into a place where things are going to start to feel much more easy for you and much less stressful. And I think because you're accepting all parts of you or learning to accept all parts of you, then everything's going to come in much more easier and much more flowing. I feel like waves and water is very relaxing for you. So if you can kind of bring in any element of water into your world, like into your home, um, maybe go walk on the beach or if you want to move move near water um also if you guys want to listen to some like waves or something i feel like that'll be very very therapeutic for you and we also have genosis and this is you coming more into like movement so i feel like movement is very prominent for you guys i feel like the circle with like the triangle situation i feel like this is you balancing your masculine and your feminine side so when we balance these two out, basically possibilities are endless because if you balance out your masculine, this is meaning that you're assertive and you can tell people how it is or you do something that you really wanna do and you there's no question. And also when your feminine is balanced, you're able to express your emotions, you're able to be kind and gentle. And I feel like both sides are really balancing out. So maybe one is a little bit off balance and I feel like you're starting to come into that. Boji stones are going to be really good for you guys. So if you if you need to get some, get some boji stones. Right, let's have a look and see what else we have. We have the seven of pentacles and we also have death and rebirth. So there's definitely an element of trying new things and also starting to reap the rewards. So for you guys, you might have a sort of build up to something. I feel for you guys, there's definitely going to be an element of death and rebirth. So you may feel like things are really stuck right now, but actually the universe is showing you right now, your higher self is saying, you are building up to this death and rebirth. And for some reason I feel the need to laugh. I don't know why, um, but I feel like laughs is gonna be really therapeutic for you. So if you guys can watch some really funny videos or something that's just kind of just random, I feel like this is gonna be really, really good for you guys. Um, the number seven and the number 13, I feel like is very, very prominent. So if you see the number 13 or number seven, kind of um, repeating, then I feel like that's gonna be very important for you guys. But this is something that you're working on right now and you're learning to kind of have patience with it, not to rush anything, not to rush creativity, not to rush any project that you're doing. Because I feel like if you do that, you're not gonna get the results that you actually really, really want. And then we have the death and the rebirth as well. So this is you finding a new kind of scenery. And I feel like this could be like a literal scenery or you could be maybe putting up some pictures on the walls or I feel like it's just a new side of you that's starting to come out and starting to bloom, which is really beautiful. So let your friends help you. We have the three of pentacles. So let your friends help you, ask for help. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be working with a friend, especially in actual work. Like I feel like some of you guys could actually be collaborating on a project with a friend, but also you could be meeting a friend where you collaborate on a project. And I feel like the need to say like you are supported and you will be supported through this process. And if things feel like really tough right now, friendships are gonna start coming in for you. So if you've been feeling quite lonely or you haven't really found your tribe, I feel like for you guys, you are gonna find your tribe and they're gonna be very, very supportive of you. And this could come in the form of a relationship as well. Like you could meet a relationship through friends. Like there could be somebody who knows someone and then that's how you meet them. And it could be an element of questioning this at first because you're like, I don't know if this is the right thing. 
Uh, especially for those of you who've been single for quite a while and you've had to kind of work through a lot of different levels, just have patience with yourself and the situation because it will work out and there's definitely a new start coming. Um, there is a sort of blockage around this um, energy here. I feel like because this is the world card and it isn't, it this come out in the reverse, they're saying that sometimes this is the reverse, sometimes this is upright. So for some of you guys, if you're feeling like you can't fully get somewhere, this is in the reverse right now because you're not at this space, you're not at this new start, you're not ready to kind of start anything new yet. It is definitely on the move, but you're not there yet, okay? But for some of you guys, if you're starting to see shifts and you're starting to meet new people, or you can sense that something is coming, this is that world card energy, and that's starting to come up for you guys. But a lot of you guys have been waiting for a very, very long time for this new start. And I feel like this is definitely like a collective energy. A lot of people are feeling this. So just open the door in the sense that try different things. Try something you never would have thought you would like. And even if you don't like it, you learn from that. You know, you learn from that experience and you learn that that's what you need to do. So, so that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. And if you want to check out my private reading rates and also my crystal shop, please do down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you guys and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started and see what your higher self wants you to know. I got like a sudden twitch. I was like, ooh, something like, I think like an energy shift happened or somebody came in. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> it could be a presence around me right now. So we have the citrine, bring in the light. I freaking love citrine. It is one of my absolute favorite crystals. Also, sometimes my camera focuses and sometimes it don't. So I do apologize for that. And then we also have fluorite, find peace within. This is really getting you to focus on yourself and really focus on your own creativity. So the fact we have bring in the light and find peace within, it's kind of like there's some sort of something that's cracking open and something different is shifting. So I feel like this is to do with your mental health. A lot of you guys possibly are going through a little bit of anxiety right now. If you are, I'm sending you my love. Even physical or spiritual kind of uncomfortable energies. And that's okay. There will be peace within this situation and it's not going to last forever. These energies are extremely potent. And I feel like this is definitely to do with your femininity. This is to do with your self-expression. So if there's something that you're, you're stopping yourself from doing, say if you want to wear makeup and you're scared of wearing it, maybe you don't think it's going to look good or you want to not wear makeup and you want to kind of like have your skin feeling a bit more fresher, you know, I feel like just do it. And sometimes the, the process is a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you suffer from acne or any sort of thing that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Obviously, I don't think acne is a problem, but obviously if you have something about you that you feel uncomfortable about and you don't feel comfortable exposing it or sh showing it to people, I feel like there's an, a very strong empowerment with actually showing your vulnerability in things and actually really being open to what that's showing you. So say if you're really uncomfortable with your body, with like a part of your body that you really don't like, then actually showing that to people in terms of just letting it be out there is actually very empowering because sometimes actually before the thing that you need to do is more scary than actually doing the thing or actually once you've done it, you, you normally feel very empowered. So I feel like just tiny little baby steps to that is, is very, very important, I feel. So the cards you have also are we have the Destroyer and we also have the Forest. So both these cards, very intense. I mean, this deck is intense anyway. So I feel like for you guys, there's definitely an element of coming out of your shell. For some of you guys, you could be in hermit mode right now and then starting to like come more out of that. Or you could just be in hermit mode and you're like, I'm just going to stay here for a little bit. And that is totally fine. If you need to be more in hermit mode, that's totally fine, guys. These energies, I would say, are very, very intense. So if you've been hit quite hard by that, I'm, I'm sensing for some of you guys that you are, for some of you guys, this is a very specific message. I'm sensing one of you guys is about 18, 17, 16, around that age, especially a female. And you're dealing with like parents who are kind of a bit like, overpowering or something like that. Something that's a bit kind of like bashing you or telling you that you're good enough or something like that. Don't listen to them. That's not important. Just focus on your path. And as long as you're treating them with respect and they're treating you with respect, you know, you just got to do what you need to do. And also when you're old enough, you can move out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you just got to do whatever is suiting you at that time. So that was a very specific message. I feel like for some of you guys, you could um, have heightened awareness in terms of your senses. So your senses could be very heightened. You could have heightened hearing, heightened sense of smell, heightened taste. There's definitely wanting to try out new tastes as well or wanting to kind of draw back on certain tastes. So you may have a certain allergy to things, maybe gluten, wheat, 
um, milk, a lac lactose intolerance. So you may have to kind of reel it back. So if there's any health issues, maybe look at some sort of intolerances. Obviously, I'm not a health professional, so just take this as very light guidance. Um, but if there's something that doesn't feel right within you, maybe have a, a little test and see how things feel for you. There was a fly and it just went in my candle and now I can't fish it out because it's actually in the wax. So I'm very confused about what that is. But I feel like for some of you guys, is that a message? They're saying that's a message. So they're saying the death process might be very uncomfortable because you're being reborn. Um, but when you come out of that, you're gonna shift into something new. So some of you guys could be a caterpillar right now. Some of you guys could be a butterfly, you know what I'm saying? So everyone is on a different level and it's treating every level with kindness, you know, cause we are just who we are. And if things present themselves and they're not comfortable, the more you can treat that with kindness and open heartedness, the better, cause then it can shift quicker as well. And there's some sayings that I use as well. Um, one of them is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you and I love you. That's a really, really good saying. Very, very good if you do have anxiety as well. It helps things shift. So another message for you guys is you guys are coming out of the forest. So if you've started to feel like your world is more opening up, you wanted to be more open with people, you wanted to kind of like expand, there is definitely an element of I'm going to freaking do this. This is somebody who is not afraid to start things and to get them going. Like you can see those wolf eyes here. This is very, very beautiful. So I feel like for you guys, you're really learning to just open up your space and not be afraid of showing any vulnerability. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could be insecure about your eyes or around your face. I feel like you're gonna come more comfortable with that as well. And normally when we're uncomfortable with something, that is normally the most beautiful part about us. So for me, I was very, very sensitive when I was younger and I still am, because I'm very empathic. It just comes with the package. Um, and it can be quite an insecurity for a lot of people, especially if you, if you are, if you can relate to me on that level it can be quite a big insecurity because you can pick up stuff that other people don't see and you have to kind of adjust your life differently to a lot of people. Like you won't be able to take certain like medical drugs and things like that because they have such a high impact on you, a high impactful effect. So for you guys, this is actually going to be your most powerful tool is your insecurities. And the more you face them, the more you can really be empowered by them. And I feel like this definitely comes with time. So don't rush this. This, this will come with time. So we then have the Ten of Wands, which is definitely letting go of all that baggage, releasing everything that no longer serves you and really coming into a space where you feel like you can really release stuff that no longer serves you. And there's definitely an element of, I'm just going to drop this now and forever hold my peace. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> just really letting it go. And for you guys, it could be as simple as not wanting to carry loads of stuff around with you. So if you're the sort of person who carries around a big bag and that's kind of like your safety net or you have to wear a certain thing, you may kind of not feel like you need that safety net anymore. And that's a big step. So really congratulate yourself. And also compare yourself with where you were like a year ago, six months ago, even like a few weeks ago. Like that is a big change. Like our lives are shifting so quickly now because the energies are like rampant um, in a good way. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely, things are changing very, very swiftly. and. You may think you're not changing, but look at yourself a year ago. Where were you a year ago, you know? And even if you were in a very similar place, your emotions would be much stronger now. So time will kind of give you the best oomph, but I think what you do with your time is obviously the most important thing. And I feel like for you guys, you are feeling much more empowered. Your things are starting to become much more empowering for you. And I think the best thing for you to do is to really choose your path. So don't listen to anybody and what they're saying. Really kind of be open to what it is that you want to do. and be open to any new ideas that come up. If, even if it's something that you think, I can't do that, just maybe ask a friend and see what they say. You know, obviously somebody you really, really trust. So let's get some more cards. Beautiful. So for some of you guys, I feel like you could be meeting an Aries. So this is for some of you guys who are single. And if you are single, this person is gonna be really beautiful. So this is part of your new start, your new beginning that you're having. And this person will come in with Mars energy. So around the time when Mars is gonna be uh, conjunct a certain planet, I feel, it's gonna when this be when this person comes in. So not always, it could be around this, around Taurus season, which I know is like the start of the year, but I feel like it could be around Taurus season like next year that you put meet this person, or this person could be a Taurus as well. I'm getting like really strong Taurus and Aries energy from this person. So I feel like this person is somebody who is saying, if you play your cards right, 
then everything will work out. And um, what I mean, what do I mean by this? Basically, don't worry. Just take it one step at a time and everything will rebalance itself out. Yep, we have the sun. So you're definitely going to be meeting somebody who is a fire sign, I feel. Or oh, this person is just going to make you feel really, really good. So this is this is the new, new part of you that's starting to come out. And you're now looking at yourself thinking, actually, I have so much to offer and I'm not going to listen to what anybody else says. Now is the time for me to really focus on myself and really clear out what no longer serves me and no longer is my energy. And that's very empowering. And you're getting some new ideas because of that. So there's new parts of you that are starting to come in where you're starting to feel much more open and much more able to really just express yourself. And you're extremely intelligent and use that. You know, if there's something you want to do in this world that scares you, but you really want to do it, just keep, go towards it. Like this is confirmation that you're meant to do that thing on this earth, you know, and it might be a hobby, it might be a career, it might just be like, some part, just part of your life path, you know, it might just be like one day that you need to do some certain thing, you know, I feel like that will definitely come through for you guys and I feel like you're definitely coming out of the woods and I'm hearing that song Out of the Woods by Taylor Swift and like she's repeating that, are we out of the woods yet, are we out of the woods, it's like, you're like, are we out of the woods universe, like <laughs> is anything gonna move? But it will guys, it will, you literally are right, right on the verge of things shifting, so that is great. So if you would like to get a private reading, all my information is down below. If you're interested in any of my crystal jewelry or crystals on my website, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what your higher self wants you to know. So the first card we have is get crystal clear, clear quartz. That is a mouthful. And the next crystal we have is bloodstone. Get up, get moving. So this is definitely a big kick up the bum. Uh, this is pure Leo season right here. It's like really getting you to be like, hey, what is it that you need to shift? And there's definitely an element of, okay, you're done doing this right now. Okay, this is definitely from the universe saying, you need to let this person go. You need to shift this energy. You need to start moving. And doing something different could also really serve you as well. I feel like some of you guys want to be carers or something to do with caring or nursing or like child I'm hearing like childbearing that sounds very intense but some of you guys just might want children <laughs> my guides do say stuff that's kind of weird but I feel like some of you guys they're saying childbearing because basically some of you guys that might have been your path when you were um, in a past life so you may have been a midwife or you may have been a mother of a lot of children and uh, that could have been your life purpose so I do feel like children is going to be something that's quite strongly for you and obviously if you're not thinking about children at all and you were like 16 then don't even worry about it just take what it resonates okay so I feel like definitely get crystal clear on what it is that you're looking for so I feel like for some of you guys okay I can definitely keep getting drawn towards children so I don't know what this is about but obviously this is a general reading so this is obviously for some for one of you guys that's watching um, I feel like for you guys, I'm getting drawn to some of you guys who were about six years old and having a birthday party. And I feel like you guys are needing to bring in that more fun element into your life. And I feel like that will motivate you more. And I feel like getting to understand what your, what your journey is, is the most important part. And it doesn't have to be that you know exactly what you want to do out of life. It can just mean, okay, how do I work? What's my reaction to this? And if I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable, is there anything that I can do? And just tune into yourself and ask yourself, is there anything I can do right now? And if the answer is no, then don't. You know, doing an out is fine also. Okay, next card out is the hunter. Definitely an energy of getting up and getting moving. Like this is so intense. This is like pure action orientated. So also look out for horses. You can be very connected to horses black horse specifically there could be quite a strong message there as well i'm also saying it's like a black swan like a lot of black colored animals are very like important to you um and i feel like for you guys it's really important for you to just understand that things will shift it's not going to be like it's forever and you will you are actually on the right path it just might not feel like it right now but things are starting to align at that point and maybe you're about here right now but you are going to get to this point and you are going to start moving forward as you can see there's this beautiful triangle it's like you really are shifting towards that new start it just might feel a bit misty or murky right now so next we have the nine of cups so reaping the rewards of what you've been giving out so this could be to do with relationships it could be friendships it could be that you've been really working on a project and you might suddenly release that that is what i'm feeling like that is and also we have scorpio and that is so funny because i was really sensing about dark black animals and now i was looking at the fact that i was wearing black and i'm also a scorpio so that makes a lot of sense so 
beautiful energy. Scorpios are very intense. They are very they have a very strong kind of like, I'm going to do this, get out of my way <laughs> kind of energy. I know I do sometimes. So um, I feel like for you guys, what the best thing for you to do is to really get moving. Like just, just go, like do the thing that you need to do. And it might be like, oh my God, I'm too scared, I'm too scared. But actually when you actually get over that hump and just go for it, that's like the best thing you could have done because most of the time we're mostly scared of like the before but then afterwards it's like oh my god why did I do this before you know but just read it listening into your intuition I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a lot of downloads as to what your next step is but there's definitely energy of expansion and around your heart chakra as well so you're learning to just re just reach out more with your heart chakra and this can be to do with being like a carer this could be that you're having to you maybe you're looking after an animal maybe you're getting a new animal or it could be that you're starting to open up more to relationships whereas before you weren't able to do that yeah there's definitely an energy of moving like this is literally the movement card of the eight of wands so that is very very crystal clear that this is coming towards you guys and it's coming with fire so you might be connecting to a lot of fire signs as well or you could be a scorpio connected with a, with a fire sign or vice versa and then we have the high priestess as i said lots of energetic downloads coming in lots of intuition and this is you getting set up for your new life path and it, it's also the universe is like setting you up so if things feel a bit confusing and you're like okay when is things going to shift or when am i going to actually start feeling more connected i think you just got to take it one day at a time and not rush the process but also you're starting to really reap the rewards of what it is that you want you know like things are starting to come in and then maybe if they're not coming in right now I feel like rainbows are a very big synchronicity for you. So look out for rainbows. You could also be a fire sign yourself. But it's definitely connecting with fire energy, even if you aren't a fire sign. I feel like it's definitely connecting with that fiery energy. And then we also have the four of swords in reverse, which is beautiful. So I'm coming out of that nesting period and getting ready to start something new that really... You're not conforming anymore, I'm hearing. You're not conforming to your old self. Everything's just starting to shift. And you're becoming more passionate. And there could be an energy around you, around the sacral chakra, where it's connecting to your sexual energy. And your sexual energy is very, very powerful. It's very creative as well. So the more you do this, the more you feel like you're not lost anymore. And you may be connecting with a water sign as well with this King of Cups. There's definitely um, a water sign coming in for you. And I'm sorry that isn't focusing. There we go. So there's definitely a water sign around you as well. So you could be also a water sign connecting with a fire sign, as I said. But you may feel like you're stuck, but actually there is something that you may just have to shift slightly just so you can feel a little bit more comfortable. And that could come in the form of, I feel like some of you guys should change out your car or there's something that you're just a little bit uncomfortable with and you're making it more difficult than it already is. But you're obviously going to realise this in your own time, guys. And with the two of pentacles, I feel like for you guys, you could be shifting work and it could be quite scary, but the universe is going to look after you, okay? If you are shifting work, and you're like, I don't know what my path is. The universe is helping you. And things may feel uncertain right now. But you are going to get there. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like to uh, get a private reading with me, all my information is down below. And also, I have information about my crystal shop. So, that will be down below as well. So, thank you so much for being here. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye-bye.